How's everybody doing? This is Philip Lyde, a.k.a. the Prosperous Rhinoceros, a.k.a. one half of the great team, Team Lyde. Live your dreams every day. And today, I want to first acknowledge all the mothers out there, um, whether you're single, whether you're in a two-parent household, whether you're just, you know, whatever, whatever your situation is, I want to acknowledge you and salute you and thank you. Um, mothers probably have the toughest job on the planet. And I know for a fact that I probably biologically couldn't make it as a parent, you know, especially in today's day and age. Um, next month, fathers, it's our time. So with that being said, thank you, mothers. Now, I'm going to show you guys a magic trick for today's topic. And, and I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it simple. OK, today. I'm going to be a mother. I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but let me say it like this. Philip Lott is a mother. Because if I'm going to be brutally honest with you, I'm not really caring on if I'm stepping on your toes or hurting your feelings. But I need to say this. For you guys that are on social media, that are on Twitter, Facebook, you know, um, Tumblr, um, if you got blog sites and things like that, and what you're doing is, in trying to attract people, you're trying to simply screw people over. And I say this because when you omit the truth, or when you omit facts from your intent, and you give people a distinction or, or a misconception that they can be as successful as you or your sponsor, and you're not providing them with adequate tools or adequate support or even empowering them to become leaders in their own right, then what you're doing is doing them a disservice. So for that, I say, shut the fuck up, please. And let people who have a sincere desire of helping one another in this industry that's already gotten a bad rap because you have people who are inexperienced, who don't have the professionalism in which they could actually help and educate and empower and, and lead people in the path on their success on their terms. You see, what we what me and Melissa do is is we don't give two craps whether or not you agree with what we say. We don't care about um, how you feel if you're emotionally attached to your product, services, or ideas. It is just what it is. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I am a jackass, but more specifically, I'm a rhino because I don't have time to worry about what you guys are doing that is counterproductive to my vision and goals. You know, um, I'm here because my background is in education and there are a lot of people out there really suffering and I want them to, to shorten their learning curve. One of the ways I'm going to tell you, matter of fact, I'm going to better show you. There's a link that you could probably find out on this video or somewhere on this page, wherever you found this video at, click onto that and you'll hear other people better than myself actually sharing their story. My story is no different from yours. My path was no different from yours, but I made a decision and what I said to myself was, well, damn it, if I do this and I am successful, then I have to feel obligated in, in, in accordance to the law. Let me back up for a second. In accordance to the law, it's known as a ministerial oath. Or a ministerial obligation means you have a vo um, you have a moral and a spiritual duty to help other people in the same manner in which you're being helped. So that's all we're doing. You know, a lot of people don't see that because we're not sitting around here flashing cash. The only thing I I, I really um I really promote more of anything is education, information, and resources. I don't care how damn raggedy that bookshelf looks. One thing you can't tell me is that I don't do my research and that I can't verify my facts with quantifiable facts. Look it up if you don't know that word. That's a PSAT word, by the way. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to be a mother today. And what I'm saying is most of you network marketers are doing your reps a disservice or your prospects a disservice by, by simply getting them to join under the pretense that they're going to make $1,000 in 20 minutes, $10,000 in 90 days without giving them the tools or giving them the leadership and guidance that they deserve. And the reason why I say is that they deserve it is because they're investing and hopefully 
They've joined the company not because of the product, services, or ideas, but because of you as the individual leader. Because they see you as a person of credibility and a reputation that, that, that's honorable, that's noble, okay? That's not always going to happen, and I get that. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I say. If, we, if we're looking to make this industry a lot better, some of us have to step up to the plate. And I'm saying for you guys who are still, who, who are also successfully financially, okay? If you're successful financially, hey, I don't knock your hustle, whatever you're doing. But what I will encourage you to do is this. Never stop developing yourself and therefore have tools or resources that people on your team or people you're trying to recruit can access in order for their learning curve to shorten and in order for them to obtain success on their terms. Look, bottom line, I know most of you guys are sitting here on Facebook or sitting on your different you know, social media platforms and all you want to do is say, hey, join my company. If I put it out there, if I put this link up there, it's going to be attractive enough to people. And what they're going to do is they're going to join because they see these 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 bullshit before and after pictures or they see these 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 um what is it photoshopped pictures of 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 cash or they see me with a picture of a safe and and i put my face on on the back of a donkey's ass and he's kicking up gold dust and and at the end of the rainbow the leprechauns are doing doing the running man and and all this wonderful sensational stuff well at the end of the day People still got bills. At the end of the day, people's marriages are in question. At the end of the day, people have children who are sick. They got they got student loans. They they they've gotten unemployed somehow. They they they're they're losing hours. They're not making as much because the value of the dollar is not what it was 10, 15, shit, even five years ago. And what I'm doing right now is saying this. Don't waste people's time and money by just simply saying they can make this money if they join you. Because that's not going to cut it these days. People are more savvy. People are going to look up all the scams. Unfortunately, some of them believe everything that they read, so they don't have those filters yet. But you as the leader should. And you as the leader should put them in a position to where they can make an informed decision regardless of what it is. You provide the vehicle, you provide the resources, whether it's through your team or not, I'll see you on stage. This is Philip Lyde, the mother of all mothers today on Mother's Day. Live your dreams every day dot biz. I suggest you guys, if you want more tips, if you want more resources, and you don't want to, if you want to just simply figure this thing out, go to my links. I'll, I'll get you with some people who are sharing their stories. I share my stories as well, and we'll connect from there. If not, God bless you. See you when I see you.